Uh, in this video clip, I'm going to have a look at uh, what is the effect of changing volatility on the value of uh, a butterfly. And I'll go into the butterfly playlist and come down to uh, the third video here. And we'll just pause this. And, and I'll go to the OneDrive where I've linked set up a link to the Excel file um, okay we'll download and open and enable editing enable content and um, we need to rerun the data table, which sets out various um, values of the butterfly. In other words, the cost of setup relative to different stock prices, relative to different uh, volatility levels. So we go into data, what if analysis, data table. Um, there's a column and the row. So on the row we have sigma, and on the column we have uh, the stock price. That's the column. That's the row. And it fills up, and then we get this data table uh, complete, and then the graph. So the graph basically outlines uh, this idea that if we have a, a butterfly strategy. And keeping in mind the butterfly strategy is in terms of an intrinsic payoff looks like this uh, popular payoff um, but in terms of its time value it takes this type of shape and we can see here for the lower level of volatility if we're uh, at a stock price close to the exercise uh, the middle exercise of the butterfly, the value seems to be greater. However, if we move either side of the middle exercise, so for very low, uh, let's say 50 or 60 or less than 150, the, the lower volatility becomes worth less and the higher volatilities become worth more. So once we move away from the upper and lower, either side of the upper and lower exercise, the higher volatility positions, relatively speaking, become more valuable. Okay, so uh, could we set out some kind of volatility analysis and borrow um, a technique from the option Greeks? And what we might do is go back to um, the playlists and have a look at the option delta gamma vega theta. And in particular, we'll have a look at uh, vega. And we'll come here to vega 2. And we'll pause that. And we'll just download. I'll go to the link and then download. Right, download. Vega 2. And open up Vega 2. Enable editing and enable content. And what we observe here now, this is a data table again, so just rerun for. It's a table tab table calculating Vega. Data table and the column. And the original parameter input here would have been the 100. And it fills up. And we notice here that the value, numerical value of the Vega is equivalent to the analytical value that we would have obtained from uh, using Black Scholes option Greek formulas. So we just take this at 
okay with some slight difference uh, okay so what I plan to do here is rerun the same type of calculation again except instead of working out just the individual value of the option and then uh, working out Vega I'm going to work out the value of the butterfly for very varying stock prices and then imp impute the numerical uh, Vega using the setup something similar to what we have here so if I go back to the previous uh, butterfly let's just copy home copy and go back into the Vega and we'll paste and the graph appears but uh, we want to eliminate that graph because it's sensitive it's based it's a straight copy into from the other uh, worksheet and we need to change the uh, reference here to the formula. There's no BS uh, function here. Um, if in this in the Vega two, if we go into the modules, uh, the formula reference is BS call. So we'll take that one and copy, then go back in and paste. Okay, so we'll say equal to copy uh, paste equals and we have S we have K we have T We have R, we have Q, and we have volatility, which is sigma. And hit return and pull across and zero six three. And we can verify zero point six zero three. Go back into the butterfly and verify. So it's the same result. Okay, so that means we now have a value of the the cost of either the way we could think about this is this the butterfly is made up of a long call with a lower exercise, long call with the higher exercise, and two short positions at the middle exercise. And this value here refers back to here. The cell reference is for C12 and we have a data table okay so if we change all the figures should change in line okay AC and let's just rerun so we have data what if analysis data table column S input the row is V, V, and it return, and it's updated. Okay, so Vega for single option. And now we want, and this is the butterfly. Butterfly. And we could say time value butterfly. Or time butterfly portfolio. Option portfolio. And now we want to get the Vega for the option portfolio. So Vega for the option 
portfolio and we copy these three cells again our sets of columns copy and paste and is it live it seems to be and we then go back to the original and just observe how we worked out the value of um, the uh, call for different levels of volatility okay so we can So just as in this case, for the single option position, we worked out the value of the option for a particular level of volatility. We must now do the same for the butterfly and consider two different levels of volatility, preferably uh, where the difference is relatively minute between the two levels of volatility. Okay, to consider this, uh, let's look at the butterfly. Let's rerun the butterfly and consider two different levels of volatility. So we'll say paste. And I didn't fully do that, so I need to copy again. Copy and paste. And we can see. Um, the cell references are live and what are t what two levels of volatility are we interested in well we could look at the lower level so we could think of 0 equal to equal to 0 0.2 minus 0 0.0001 and then we could think of equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.00011. So three zeros. Okay. And you can see the di difference between both is relatively small. Um, and we could run a data table. So we consider, okay, uh, the volatility at 19%, the lower uh, 0 0.199, so the value of the butterfly. So we could say butterfly at uh, 0 0.1999. And the other butterfly as well. Butterfly at zero point two zero zero one. And because they're both butterflies, maybe we could take out the term. So we could say cut and paste and paste and just to save a little bit of space. Okay. And what are the values uh, for the lower butterfly and for the higher butterfly? And then we rerun these butterflies uh, for different stock prices, starting at 10, 20, 30, highlight and pull down to 200. Okay, so what we're trying to do is what we had done before when calculating the numerical vega. And now do the same for the butterfly and I will continue this in the next video clip.